Right, guys, we're back here again today. Um, what I want to go through this time is pretty much showing you guys how to do um, a boundary spray. So XAG have had it for years now, they've always done it. You can do an infield spray and then you can also do a boundary spray around the edge. So a quick, do a quick thing on how to do that. So pretty much, we'll go to the screen now. Right, so on the screen now, we can see here, we've got a little um, field mapped out here. I just did that before. So what you wanna do, if you're already in an operation, so say if you've already started the operation and you're getting towards the end and you wanna do a boundary at the end, you'll have to do that at the start of the field. So if you're already halfway through it, you pretty much have to end the field, end the operation and restart it again because it's in the first settings that you do. So all you do is you click on the field that you wanted to do, like that, you go start operation. <coughs> I'm gonna ignore that because I know I'm in RTK. It's because I marked it out on the satellite, it's giving me a warning. So what you wanna do, you can see the, the green line is where we're gonna go into the field and start spraying and it's only a tiny little area that we've marked out. So what you wanna do, you wanna to go to root settings over there and then you can see you've got approaching route, operation route and advanced settings. So you wanna click on advanced settings and you can see you've got at the top here operation range, route number one to two, because we've only got two, two paths here so that's why it says one to two. So you wanna click on that and then you can see up the top there you've got shuttle or boundary operation. So click on boundary operation and then you go enable edge application, click on that. So you can see now it's created four different corners around the outside. So you can enable it to do, so you see how it says edge spraying, if you click on outer spraying, you can have, so what that is, is you can have one side of your drone spraying, like normally we just have one edge because you wanna just do the edge, or if you have two of your sprayers going, you might overdose it. So normally we just have your outer spraying on, but say if you wanted to do just the outside, you might have two. So we just have the outside, outer spraying, it's just the outer nozzle to the edges is, is on. Um, and then you can also select, so you see how I'm clicking on and they're turning green, so that's what boundaries it'll spray. You can, you can just, um, say if I unclick them, you can just go down the bottom here where it says select all, you can just select them all and see how they're all green now. So that means it'll spray all the boundaries. So say, for instance, the wind is going towards the left here, we don't want to spray number one because we know that it would have on that run that it did on that edge, it would have sprayed that edge anyway. So we want to unclick that one. You can do that as well. Um, so now it'll spray all of them except for number one. Um, and you can as well, see down right down the bottom here, it says edges only. So if you want to just do the edges, so say if you've already sprayed all the field and you want to do just the edges, you can do just the edges. So you can click on edges only and then it won't do the actual field as well. It'll just do the boundary run. So, so if we go complete now, you can see now when we're back in the normal operation here now, if we go back, you can see it's just gonna do a boundary pass around the outside. And we can change it to how close we want it to go to the boundary as well. So see where it says uh, boundary safety distance. So we can make it go closer to the edge, see how it's closer, or we can make it go further away. Uh, obviously it's gonna give us an error there because it's not even six meters wide probably. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna go back now. So that's how you do that. All you do now is just go start operation, tick, tick, and then it would take off and do that. It's a simple, easy, effective one. Um, great for those uh, boundary, boundary sprays and everything like that when you've got to get full coverage, no, miss, no missed edges or anything like that. So yeah, cheers. Thanks for that. That's a quick run through on how that works. Give us a bell if you have any other questions. Cheers.